Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this week, UE 30022, Communicative English 2, with me, Ida Muhammad Isa, in week 4 lesson. So in topic 1, we learn about describe a product or service effectively by highlighting its features and characteristics that appeals to a specific audience. And This week, topic two, processes, procedures, and instructions. The course learning outcome is to describe processes, procedures, and instructions clearly by highlighting information or concerns. Let's watch a movie clip. I'm having a little trouble hearing you, friend. Dark Eva! The dinosaur is alive! What do I do? Just tell me what to do! Read the instructions. It explains everything. Okay, I got him! I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, what? Ah! Number one, throw the bone. What bone? So based on the movie clip, we know that process, procedure or instruction is very important in a workplace. A process is the conversion of an input into an output. A process typically operates at a higher level, possibly across many functions and may across department lines. A process may contain one or more procedures and may refer to procedures from other processes. Work instruction uh, provide even more detail for a procedure. So process, procedures, and work instruction can expand like an organization chart.
Let's look at the revenue process, one of the 10 core business processes. The revenue process starts when sales takes an order. The order is pulled from inventory and shipped. Next, the revenue process is not complete until the order goes through collection and is converted from merchandise into cash. Notice how the revenue process crosses various department boundaries from sales to the warehouse to accounting. The process is controlled when objectives are clearly defined. Metrics are tracking how well the process is achieving the objective and actions are clearly taken when objectives are not met. Clearly defined responsibilities, measures, actions and operating time frames help to establish the control that are typically found within a procedure. So the revenue process is complex and operates across many functions and departments, which may result in a number of different procedures. So what is procedure? A procedure is a term used in a variety of industries to define a series of steps taken together to achieve a consistent result. So in this case, the process outputs. Procedures can be called a Standard Operating Procedure, SOP, a Good Manufacturing Practice, or a Business Best Practice. Procedures are required for compliance and are helpful for training, and procedures also help to retain important information that helps an organization to prevent any errors. So a simple process may be described by a single procedure, but a more complex process, like the revenue process, will have multiple procedures. So this table shows the process, procedures work instruction, in terms of the connections and differences. So as you can see, a process is a flow of sequences of activities that transform input elements into results. A procedure specif specify way to carry out a process and the work instruction would describe the correct step to perform a specific task. So a process would mean what we do, by whom, where it takes place and when it happens. A procedure on the other hand would be how the work has been performed and why and the work instruction is how accomplish a specific task within the process with very detailed direction. So uh, in the process, it is showing orchestration the work and the procedure is the mandatory method, whereas the work instruction would be the mandatory guidance. Right, so those are some of the connections and differences between process, procedures, and instruction. Let's watch another video and figure out why it's important to describe a process or procedures based on the movie clip. Breathe out loud. Breathe out loud. This will all be over in four days. No one will be hurt. Food and drinks will be provided for you. If there are any special dietary needs, please speak up. You may use any of the rooms on the first floor of this house. The doors and windows have been sealed and alarmed, and the rooms are monitored and your phones have been taken. You may gather in groups of no more than five people. Some of your parents have had tracking. Some of your parents have had tracking devices implanted under your skin or in your te teeth. We have removed these devices. We tried to be as careful as possible. 
If you need something for the pain, please raise your hand and something will be brought to you. As you can tell from the way you were taken, we are professionals. We know what we are doing and we'll get you all home safely if you respect that. If you do not respect that, we are also very comfortable with the use of force. Are there any questions? So this is a hostage situation. Could you imagine what happened if there was no procedure to follow? The victims might panic, right? And what will happen? And the condition or the situation would become worse. So this is the importance of a proper procedure or uh, instruction so that you do not panic. So procedures play an important role to maintain quality, environment of organization and safety at the workplace. Quality means it doesn't matter who is doing the process, the result would turn out to be the same with the use of the same procedures. People always need to be reminded to do something. Thus, procedures assist as a work guide to ensure standardized working practice. To understand different types of process or procedures, firstly, you must identify the type of process or procedure. Generally, there are two types of process or procedure. Firstly, a process or procedure that instructs or directs and a process that explains or analyzes. So, an instructional or directional process means that it is explaining how to do something. For example, how to change a flat tire, how to reduce electricity, how to handle or operate machine. So usually this type of procedure is to clarify the steps and people can follow the steps to get the output they want. Next is informational process, which refers to the processes and not the procedure. So they only provide information on how something works or happens. For example, how an earthquake happens, or how paper is made, and other examples. So the purpose for this type of process is to inform or explain or analyze the process for a reader to understand and know. So there is no need for the readers to create or follow the process like procedure. Next, when you want to understand the processes and procedures, you need to be able to organize the information you have identified. So what do you do? You take notes on the information that you obtain and organize it. Pay close attention to the order or sequence of the process or procedures. So one way for you to organize information is by using lists and bullets or numbered step. This uh, can be bulleted or numbered. Typically, you should use a number list when you need to stress the order of the listed items. So for example, you would start with the steps are followed are as follows. Number one, number two. Or you can say the following are steps two, step one, and step two. You can also use my map or flowchart as a tool to organize information or content. This will help you to include and connect all the right process in a right order or sequence. Sometimes people prefer looking at visuals than words. So nowadays, it's common to see or read procedures that are supported with visuals or graphic presentation. And this means a non-linear form. So the visual can be in the form of a flowchart, table, pictures, and others. The flowchart usually uses symbols and arrows, and it explains procedure that is easier to follow by the readers. So 
so readers would also be more confident to perform the procedure if they are visual that it should. So for example, steps to download the Sony AMC mobile through WEP download. So the flowchart is given and as you can see there is also pictures. Apart from that, there is a simple procedure. Firstly, launch your mobile browser. Go to the website stated. Secondly, select your phone manufacturer. Thirdly, select your phone model. Number four, download the Sony AMC mobile application. And number five, run the Sony AMC mobile application. So as you can see, this form of visual representation is easier for the reader to understand and to follow. It also uses arrows, so that would show the steps that they need to follow in terms of the orders or the sequence. Another example is how to wash your hands properly. Number one, wet your hand. Number two, liquid soap. Number three, leather and scrub for 20 seconds. Number four, rinse for 10 seconds. Number five, dry your hands. And number six, turn off tap. So again, this shows pictures of the procedure. So the process or the procedure looks very clear and um, people would understand it better. So this is another way on how you want to present your process or procedures. When using visuals, there are certain guidelines to observe. Make sure they are arranged in the right order. The contents, the information should be arranged in the correct sequence. Next, the visual must be clear, appropriate and accurate. And this means that the text that you use should not be too long because the visual itself is self-explanatory. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to get more content on the video lessons. Thank you. Bye.